I'm Ever Curdy, and welcome to this video on Saturn and the sign of Leo in the natal birth chart. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in astrology and spirituality content that I provide every week. So every single week I do a general astrology video that means the planet in a sign or something else that doesn't have to do with the current astrological events that occur or that are occurring or that will occur later on. So this week's video is on Saturn in the sign of Leo. So Saturn in astrology, you know, understanding the bare bones of this planet. So Saturn is a life area that needs to be cultivated. It is where you have to put the work in, where you have to roll up your sleeves and put in a lot of effort and a lot of time and blood, sweat, and tears in order to achieve in a steady, persistent way where you're not giving up on the goal that you have come in this life to achieve, the path, you know, your purpose of why you signed up and the hard work that you will do and sort of the karmic debt that you will pay in this life. So Saturn is a malefic planet. It doesn't sprinkle things with sugar and flowers and all of that, and it doesn't make it nice. It really brings us down to practical reality and wants us to manifest something in the physical. And it wants to see us be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. And that may involve growth, that may involve needing to mature, that may involve needing to have healthy boundaries and self-control. So for more information on Saturn, I have a whole nother video about it that I did on my channel, and I will link it down below, where I discuss the meaning of Saturn in greater depth. So when it comes to Saturn in Leo, if you have this placement, then you really want to, on a deep level, there is a craving for shining with generosity, um, you know, being generous, expressing whatever you feel inspired to express in terms of feelings that you feel at a very deep heart level, because Leo is the sun. And the sun shines its light very brightly, very warmly, and very in a very, very big way. It takes up the sky. It takes up as much space as it wants to, and it brings warmth and light and vitality to the people, to the plants, to the trees, all of that. And people are drawn to the sun. People are gravitated towards it. People want to be around the sun because of what it has to provide. And so with Saturn and Leo, Saturn is a malefic planet and it restricts wherever it touches. So it may restrict the generosity that the Leo can give. Um, so... Um, you know, Leo is a sign that is very connected to the heart and giving from the heart because you love to love and give and pour your energy out to this person in this direction. Um, so there is a deep need to shine with generosity and also joy, showing joy, experiencing joy in your life, you know, what lights you up. What do you like to do where you can really let your hair down and have fun doing it? To just relax and play and enjoy 
aspects of life that are about pleasure because Leo is the joy factory, is um, about an abundant sense of being alive and the pleasures that you can enjoy in this life. Um, you know, just Leo deals with your inner child. And so connecting with your inner child in a very, very deep way is important. You know, the inner child that does not care about what other people think of it, what other people believe of the inner child, doesn't care about any of the rules and the limitations and the structures and the restrictions in life. But the inner child just wants to have fun and enjoy life for all of its worth. So, um, you know, doing things which bring you joy and pleasure and then emanating that joy, showing that joy and putting that vibration of abundance and joy and gratitude and happiness and um, the real zest for life is going to be important for you because you're really here to inspire other people to have fun in life and to be their true selves. Now, one of the little pitfalls that you can find yourself, you know, getting into is um, the need to be liked and admired for your talents and abilities, for your gifts that you have. And the need to be superior the need to be better and bigger than everybody else, and the need for validation from the outside, from the outside, that fill up your cup of abundance and feeling good about yourself, as opposed to just feeling abundant and validating yourself and feeling good about who you are and what you can do. Um, just on the inside, you may crave it from the outside because Leo is about the personal life. Leo can get a wrap of becoming so enmeshed and absorbed and consumed by what people think of Leo from an outside perspective of um, really caring what other people think of the Leo and how you're looking at people from the outside um, as if they were a mirror to you and they're reflecting back to you who you are so seeing yourself through other people. And so when the Leo gets so consumed with what other people think, it can really take what other people's perceptions and projections and opinions of you to be as defining who you are as opposed to their projections, their life experience, their opinions, their side of the street, what they think, what they believe about you, you know, being who you are. So, you know, can you not need um, the mirror to validate you? You know, can you just come into a place of, um, you know, loving yourself and giving yourself the permission slip and giving yourself the high five, the pat on the back, the recognition and the acknowledgement for who you are and not needing to be better than everybody else and demanding it from the outside. Um, and so the sort of life path for Saturn and Leo may involve people and organizations that inspire you, if you have this placement, to be your creative self, to do creative things and express that creative energy, that innovative, joyous, curious, excitable energy that you have inside yourself, that fire energy, that enthusiastic and alive energy that you have within yourself, that you may, you know, attract experiences which sort of want you and pull you in the direction of being your creative self. 
um, and, you know, expressing that creative creativity because you have a lot of creative talents. And so this may be part of it. Someone may say, oh, you know, look at you and um, what you can do and, you know, and receive that, acknowledge that, um, let that fill your cup. What would other people think of you when you were in the spotlight of them in their recognition of your talents, gifts, and abilities to fill you up and just receive that love and that recognition from um, the outside, from um, everybody else? Um and organizations such as governments or a school or something that, um, you know, gives you a metaphorical high five for um, what you can do in a talent that you have and a gift that you have. Um, now, it's really, really important if you have Saturn and Leo to not push other people around because there's a need to be in control, to be the one um, in charge, to be better than everybody else, to be far superior than everybody else. And so you may feel insecure about who you are on the inside. So that may result in you pushing other people around and being an authoritarian and being very demanding and bossy and controlling and manipulative over other people so it's really really important that you don't make it all about you because you know i think that's what narcissism can be because when it comes to narcissism the people are being selfish and self-centered and they need the attention and the spotlight and the focus to be on them all the time. Their needs and wants need to be met um, before everyone else's. They think that they are more special because they're trying to gain control and security and satisfaction and rec you know validation from the outside so that they can feel secure within themselves, but not any amount of validation from the external reality is going to make you feel you know, worthy of you being who you are. It really is an inside job. Um, so the way to go about life is not to push others around, not to be the disciplinarian, the boss, the authoritarian, that where you push others around because you don't feel necessarily secure in who you are. So you're trying to, you're coming from a disempowered place and you're trying to rise up to power by busting everyone around and trying to be in control. You're trying to fight your way um, to power. And can you just close your eyes, take a breath and find that love and that peace and that inner power within yourself? that goes beyond what other people think of you. So self-love is a key for anyone who has Saturn and Leo. Um, so just, you know, loving yourself, taking care of yourself, um, focusing on the self in a healthy way, um, doing what you're inspired to do, expressing your creativity, Doing things that you enjoy doing that bring you peace, that bring that nurture you, that um, you know, nourish you, that fill up your cup, and doing things that float your boat that you feel are right for you on a personal level. So there could also be some issues with authority figures. So some conflicts with ego because you may be you may have this attitude that is very resistant toward um authority figures um and them having more control than you have and you having less control 
than they have. So there could be some issues that you may experience in your life. You're trying to fight for something and they're trying to fight back. And they're trying to maybe put a limitation or a restriction on you and a boundary to you. And so getting along with authority figures is also important, but not letting external authority figures limit and inhibit you from the inside and what you want to do and the life that you want to live. So it's all a balance here. Um, But maybe you can fall into the shadow side of Leo, which is the ego, getting so caught in what the ego wants and what the ego um, desires. And from that place, from that egoic place, you can find it very easily to defend yourself and to fight against another person um, in a very strong, you know, sort of violent, aggressive way. Um, and it goes back to that insecurity that you may have within yourself. Now, on the upside, the ego can be positive in the sense that we can go about our life and the ego serves as a vessel to what the soul wants to experience. And so the ego makes us unique. It makes us who we are as individuals. Um, and so the Leo, uh, the ego cares about the job, the promotion, the books on the shelf, the linen on the table, how things look, how things should be. It's really attached to form and results and things like that and things being a certain way. Um, and the ego can support the soul with knowing what it wants in the physical reality to nourish the soul. Um, and the ego makes us stand out. It gives us our personality and everybody has an ego. So that's one of the positive sides of the ego. So embracing um, the healthy sense of I am, who you are, your identity, your needs and wants, your individuality, uh, developing, you know, all these kind of things in a healthy way is going to be important. Um, and so maybe your confidence that you may possess, maybe that exuberance, that spark of life, that radiance, that joy, that passion that you have is dimmed a little bit under Saturn and Leo. You know, you'd have the light bulb and then it would be dimmed from the planet Saturn, which is the restrictor. It is the father. It's very patriarchal in nature. Saturn comes in and wants to put a boundary and put a lesson on whatever sign it touches, and it wants to turn that sign into being something that needs to be worked on as a serious thing. So you may have to work harder to express yourself creatively. Um, that it may not come, you know, creative self-expression may not come as naturally to you. And maybe you were given a message that wasn't written in stone when you were younger that that there was a limitation to your, your creative self-expression. And there may be a pattern in ancestral childhood where you may have felt limited to be your authentic self and express your creativity um with what you truly enjoy doing with what you you know doing what you like doing what lights you up and brings you joy so expressing that creative self-expression and that generous nature that comes from the heart that comes from you being who you are that leo is known for may be more difficult for you to express um, now, people with displacement also make great leaders, you know, taking the lead of your life, sitting in the driver's seat of your own life, and doing all those kind of things like that. So these people make great leaders. They can be very domineering and, um, you know, and they can take the reins, they can take control. 
they can take center stage, and they can be the one to lead everybody to victory when people with displacement step into their role as a leader. So any job that brings you to a leadership position may be really positive and very good and beneficial for you. So, um, because Leo wants to be the center stage of its reality and the center stage of its universe. It's all about the sun and all the planets revolve around the sun. So the sun is the core part of who you are and that you are in charge and you can create your own reality and you can control your fate and destiny. So, um, being a um, leader, um, you know, the one in charge, which bring you, brings you a sense of personal power and strength and self-confidence in yourself is going to be important. So, choosing a position that, you know, brings you empowerment and focused determination and grit where you can put yourself into it and you can lead the way for others is going to be healthy for you. So in terms of a career, if you have Saturn and Leo, so maybe you could be an actor or a stage performer or someone who designs pottery or who paints or who creates music or who builds things. So any career that involves self-expression that is of the creative sense is going to be healthy for you. Now, you may come in to this life with um, low self-esteem, um, low self-confidence, um, low belief that you, um, in yourself that you can do it. Um, you can you know, have the life that you want to. And so, you know, this low self-esteem, this feeling of unworthiness, um, and these negative feelings that you have or that you may have about yourself are very strong. And it's going to take a lot of time to shake those off. And so, again, your self-expression could have been limited. So maybe by parents or by other authority figures, you try to express yourself creatively and you may have been made fun of or whatever that, you know, the way that it is. And so you may experience low self-esteem as a result of that. So working on your self-esteem and your self-advocacy or whatever, you know, that word is, that's going to be super important. So you need to have an inner sense of believing in yourself and self-confidence. Um, and so, yeah. So in terms of your work, in terms of any goal that you want to achieve, you can really, really have a lot of willpower and a lot of strength and determination when achieving what you want to because Leo is a fixed sign and it is a fixed fire sign. Once Leo sets its heart on, on something, it will get it because it's fixed. It is stubborn. It is, um, it has its blinders on to move in whatever direction that it wants to move in to have whatever it wants. And so in terms of any war project or any goal or any desire or any dream that you have, um, you can really put a lot of your socks in the drawer and get them all organized and really check things off that list in a very efficient and determined, um, steadfast, strong, and intense way where you have a passion and you're going after that passion. And so, you know, the real um, important thing for you is um, it's going to be important to direct your creative pursuits 
in productive ways. So, you know, whatever that may be, maybe it's something, you know, for your work or, um, you know, whatever, that may be doing something and taking action on something creative that you want to do and um, you move in a positive direction um, where, where, where you're getting money for this thing that um, you, know, you do creatively. Um, it could be um, a job that allows you to be creative. It could be a goal that you're bringing into physical manifestation. So any kind of productive thing that you can do with expressing your creativity is going to be something that you do want to consider in this life. So you may be more serious when young and more restrained. When young and as you grow older, you can relax and you can embrace the joy, the more fun, the more playful side of life. Uh, where you can, you know, relax and be yourself and do whatever the heck that you want to. And be in the moment with what is going on in your life. Because Leo is a sign that's all about living for the now. Making the most of what you can do and what you can experience in the now. And so... This life is about finding the sweet spot of too much or too little attention, you know, put onto you. And so getting comfortable with the spotlight, getting comfortable being in the spotlight and having the attention put on you is going to be huge. So, um... You know, getting comfortable with other people, seeing you and recognizing you for your gifts, and you taking the center stage of your life where expressing your creative talents is going to be the thing that you're going to do and the need that you need to get comfortable with in this life um, is um, being the center stage and... Um, you know, that kind of thing. So the final thing is not getting so caught up in the serious side of life, but embracing the fun sides of life more, embracing the joy in life. So that is my video on Saturn and Leo. I hope that you found it informative and helpful and insightful. And if you have this placement, then I hope that you enjoyed. Bye for now.